Peru, a nation that has fired the imagination of travelers for centuries. A mystical land, an awe-inspiring, surreal mix of peoples, cultures, and geographies, made from ingredients both native and contemporary. A relentless sense of pride is now generated among every layer of Peruvian society. This is the face of a new and progressive Latin America. Peru is also experiencing a period of unparalleled economic expansion, fueled by significant growth in sectors such as mining and fisheries. A nation in overdrive. This is extraordinary Peru. Peru, Latin America's fastest growing economy. Peru experienced an economic boom at the beginning of the decade, and its repercussions are still evident today. This is a nation on track to become Latin America's next superpower. Peru is the third largest country in South America, straddling three different geographic zones. The Pacific Coast, the Andes Mountain Range, and the Amazon Basin. The capital city is Lima. Peru is a es un país que es producto de una civilización antigua, ¿no? Que a su turno ha tenido la ventaja de tener una mezcla que le ha producido fortaleza en su en su gente, eh, características especiales en su manera de ser y de ver las cosas, ¿no? Hay una cosmovisión mixta de las cosas, ¿no? Entonces es un país bastante diverso, rico, muy rico, no solamente en, en elementos naturales, sino inclusive en microclimas, ¿no? Y regiones que le permiten una diversidad muy grande que a su turno garantiza pues, que tenga una posibilidad tanto en áreas de agricultura como de pesca, como de minería, como de extracción, como de energía, ¿no? Como de hidrocarburos. Entonces somos un país que contamos con prácticamente todas las posibilidades para explotar y poder eh, vivir en condiciones buenas, ¿no? Entonces sobre esa base se ha asentado este país. Necesitamos tener la inversión de todos los que quieran acompañarnos en este esfuerzo. Y por cierto, mi recomendación es venga pronto porque las circunstancias de inversión son muchas. Las, las digamos, alternativas eh, son variadas, las rentabilidades son bastante interesantes, pero sobre todo van a encontrar una gran estabilidad, una gran acogida. Perú's strong performance in recent years has been aided by market-oriented economic reforms and privatizations, and measures taken since 2001 to promote trade and attract investment. Our job now, uh, towards the end of this government, is to continue keeping the, the master lines of the uh, economic policy so we can ensure growth for the rest of this year, um, maintain uh, a, a, a solid financial situation in the public sector, uh, reducing the deficit, uh, aiming at having a, a, a budget surplus actually at the end of this year, uh, and also uh, trying to keep the confidence of the private sector up so investment will continue and growth will continue. Uh, primero, el, el Perú is a país uh, receptor de inversiones extranjeras uh, que garantiza un nivel de estabilidad jurídica para cualquier inversionista extranjero. Uh, de acuerdo a la constitución peruana, los contratos uh, se respetan y tienen la misma naturaleza de una ley, no pueden ser modificados. Es posible suscribir contratos o convenios de estabilidad jurídica con el Estado peruano. En fin, hay garantías de las cuales está rodeada la inversión extranjera en diversos sectores económicos. No estamos hablando estrictamente pensando solamente en el sector de la producción en particular. 
es decir, podemos tener oportunidades en diversas actividades económicas hacia donde el inversionista podría evaluar posibilidades como para poder realizar inversiones, no solamente pensando en inversiones de, de capital extranjero puramente, sino también consorciarse, asociarse con capital nacional. The trade relationship between the United States and Peru has been aided by a free trade agreement signed in 2009. The United States remains a strong partner and ally of Peru. Well, FDI from the United States into Peru has been growing steadily, especially in the last two years it has averaged 1.6 billion. Actually, last year it was 2.7 billion. And it was negative in during the, the crisis because most uh, um, companies ask their subsidiaries to repatriate funds to the U.S. because of the shortage of liquidity here in the market. So, um, but it has recovered and actually has exceeded the average level of the last uh, 10 years. Uh, so we are very happy about the kind of investment we are receiving. We've improved in our ranking in the doing business, which is the World Bank ranking, mm -hmm. and we're number two in the region. And, and the one that has most improved. So um, uh, I think an investor can find uh, in Peru a, a number of opportunities, uh, uh, not only to, to export to the world, but uh, also in a growing market that has a growing middle class, uh, which is uh, demanding more and more products, uh, improving its standards of living. Um, and in general, with a very uh, uh, pro-international investment uh, atmosphere. International indeed. Peru is opening up to the world and wants everyone to know about it. The foundations of the Peruvian economy are quite strong. In 2010, Peru's GDP increased by 8.93%, reflecting optimum economic growth while most of the countries in the world decreased in economic terms due to the international crisis. Likewise, foreign investment stock is on the rise, driven by mining, industry and energy. Peru's internal market developments are impressive. I think the country is a country that is presented in the community, serious, with many natural resources, con mucha confianza, con mucho respeto a las normas que deben regir las inversiones que vienen al país y eso da una confianza para que esta gente tenga la seguridad de que van a hacer dinero, van a hacer prosperidad y van a ser juntos un binomio que a la postre el mundo necesita. Toda esta alianza estratégica de los países poderosos con los países en proceso de desarrollo creo que es una conjunción importante que debe servir como ejemplo para otras latitudes. Coming up next, building world-class infrastructure. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. Bacchus, a subsidiary of the Saab Miller Group, one of the largest worldwide beer companies, is committed to the creation of shared value. Bacchus believes in sustainable development and puts a special emphasis on bringing benefits to the communities where it operates through programs related to capacity building for micro and small scale entrepreneurial and the promotion of healthy and responsible lifestyles designed to generate development and transformation. Bacchus, a passion for Peru and its people. Giving Peru access to global markets through a competitive port system focused on service and innovation. Developing communities' sustainability through job creation and social projects. APM Terminals Callao, lifting global trade. Quality in everything we do. A leader in airport and aero navigation services. Experience and responsibility. Corpac. Peruvian skies in good hands. Dedicated to bringing good practice and excellence to the Peruvian mining and construction sector. Zixa, earning Peru's trust since 1953.
For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. Jorge Chavez International Airport in Lima. For many visitors, the first port of entry into the country. Over 10 million passengers went through its doors in 2010. Peru's National Airport and Civil Aviation Authority is CORPAC, who ensures that Peruvian skies are in good hands. Hemos dado mucha importancia al sector aeronáutico en el Perú. La mayor parte de los aeropuertos en el país han sido concesionados al sector privado, quedándose CORPAC solamente con la responsabilidad de la seguridad aeronáutica. Esto hace que tengamos que ver muy claramente las responsabilidades del control del tránsito aéreo y para ello hemos implementado una serie de programas que están orientados a dotar de infraestructura adecuada, de equipos sofisticados para que podamos tener los cielos del Perú debidamente seguros para quienes ingresan y salen de nuestro territorio. In order to achieve this, the government and CORPAC are investing heavily into new equipment, including new radars, a necessity given the country's unique geography and climactic conditions. Next to Lima's airport is the maritime port of Salau, the largest and most important port in Peru and the entire western coast of South America. Its location in the Pacific Ocean couldn't be more strategic. Callao is a, a, a natural port, it's a deep water port. It has a strategic location because it is located in the middle of South America on the west coast. Uh, it has the opportunity to not only serve the Peruvian market, but also to serve strategic, uh, strategically markets abroad, becoming a hub. And actually, that is going to develop into a much more interesting scenario also for Peru, because you are attracting business from abroad and it's being transshipped out of Callao. So that's why Callao is a strategic location. In April 2011, Europe-based APM terminals won the public privatization tender for the northern port of Salau. The first phase is a very important phase because that is uh, changing the old port and bringing it up to a new standard. The old port was uh, developed in 1928 and now we're bringing this into a complete new port that will be uh, lasting for the next 100 years or more. Lima, Peru's aggressive and dynamic capital. Here business rules as evidenced by the city's constant sense of chaos. It has a unique charm of its own. Peru's capital markets are at an emergent stage. The Lima Stock Exchange has been ranked some of the best performing in Latin America. The exchange has been able to contribute to this development by providing one of the best infrastructures in terms of exchanges, being able to integrate ourselves with international markets on one side. On the other side, we have been able to bring more issuers to our market, providing more opportunities for investment for local investors, as well as for international investors to participate from this success. In 2011, Peru Stock Exchange merged with Colombia's and Chile's the first of its kind between stock exchanges in Latin America, called the Mercado Integrado Latin Americano, or MILA. Peru has financial and investment service companies that are innovative and at the same time prudent in managing risks to generate strategic allies. Such companies as Grupo Carril can offer a variety of products to cover financial requests from small and medium enterprise sectors and can trade in the country not just through financial vehicles, but also in private projects. Coming up next, Going Beyond the Gate. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. Hotels inspired by a sense of place, by ancestral wisdom, and unique living traditions. Casa Andina. 
Our unique hotels reflect the indelible elements and beauty of Peru, combining services and facilities of larger hotels with the personality and character of more intimate boutique hotels. Be inspired by our decor, architecture, gastronomy, activities and music. The true Peruvian experience. Founded in 2003, Casa Andina has quickly become the most important hotel group in Peru, boasting 18 hotels located in the country's most visited regions. Enjoy marvelous Peru with Casa Andina. Be inspired. Pesquera Excel Mar, a leader with more than 30 years of experience in the fish meal and fish oil sector, is dedicated to extraction, transformation, and trade of hydrobiological products for direct and indirect human consumption. We seek long-term sustainability while keeping the high quality of our exports. Pesquera Excel Mar. A Peruvian construction firm specializing in the execution of the country's most important projects, including tourism infrastructure. We guarantee quality of execution for even the most demanding of clients. Jota e Construcciones Generales. We build solid commitments. Committed to the development of microinsurance in Peru. La Positiva Te Quiero Seguro. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. Peru has always attracted multinational companies with its promise of high growth sectors and a modern and stable legal framework. The Peruvian brewery Bacchus is an example of a success story. With the merger of Grupo Bavaria and Saab Miller, Bacchus is now part of the second largest brewing group worldwide, with presence in over 60 countries and a portfolio of more than 170 brands. The Peruvian beer market is booming. The Peruvian beer market is slightly larger than the Dutch beer market, which makes it around about 13 million hectoliters a year. We have 94% of that market, 93, 94%, depending whether you measure by volume or by value. And, um, and the growth has been quite extreme in the last six years. In fact, we've almost doubled our, our volumes of sales and obviously we've had to invest in accordingly for capacity. The opportunities in the future are great. I think the economic growth will continue. We have a young population. So I expect that the beer growth that we've had and we've experienced over the last five to six years will continue into the future. More and more Peruvian companies are starting to incorporate sustainable development initiatives. For companies such as Bacchus and APM Terminals, good business governance combined with an ethical and transparent behavior and support for the communities guarantees a successful future. For APM Terminals, social responsibility actually means going beyond the gate. Going beyond the port gate and get into the local communities. We have done this in Peru already. We have started uh, engaging with uh, social activities that relates to the church, uh, we have also been visiting schools, we have been into the technical colleges and universities because we need to understand what are the level of technical competences now in Peru and where can we add value. That's important for us. It's important to show not only to the communities but also to our own employees that we want to engage with the local societies. We want to help uh, bring new, new knowledge and new competences. It's also about social responsibilities. Wherever we are in the world, Sab Miller always believes that the society should be better off because we're part of them. And that's very true here in Peru. We focus my, primarily on the development of small business. Small business that assists us and small business who in fact actually sell our products as well. We have major training programs in place to assist them in running better business and professionalizing their capabilities. Extractive industries, such as petroleum and hydrocarbons, represent the largest business for American goods and services, and have attracted the majority of U.S. investments into Peru. Peru has an open-door policy towards international oil companies, and all exploration and production activities involving upstream petroleum and natural gas are carried out by companies who sign contracts 
with the state corporation Peru Petro. There is an unrivaled opportunity for American oil companies to access the exploration potential in Peru. Peru has a coastal belt of almost 2,000 miles, so it isn't surprising that commercial deep sea fishing is a major enterprise. There are over 40 fishing ports on the Peruvian coast, with Paita and Salao being the most important centers. The Peruvian fishing industry, primarily based on the export of fish meal used in poultry feed, is among the largest in the world. Peru has always a fishery country in, in, in the worldwide, no? because we have a very rich sea. Uh, we have two currents that cross in the front of our coast, that is Corriente El Niño and Corriente El Humboldt, and it provides the environment to growth. The sector is very important for Peru because it brings more employment for a small and medium in, in the progress of the larger industries. And that's why it's uh, the second industry in the, uh, in the economy for Peru. Now Peru is trying to make better use of one of its prime resources by ensuring that tons of fish are left each year as spawning stock. The future for the fisheries in Peru is very good because we have a, 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 the individual system quota that uh, provides the environment uh, to protect the biomass and uh, 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 to support the sustainability for the uh, rio source. Um, and, to, and the government is promoting the con direct, cons the, uh, direct consumption and because we have many species to, to do like a tuna and mackerel. And that's why the development on the, uh, the direct consumption is a very good opportunity for our country too. Hydrocarbons and fisheries, two industries that are the pillar of the Peruvian economy two pillars prime for investment. Increasingly strong support for Peru's educational system over the past century stands as one of the foremost examples of social democracy in Latin America. Peru has one of the highest literacy rates in the continent at 87.7%. Peru's capital, Lima, is home to the majority of the country's institutions of higher learning, both public and private. Some well-renowned universities include Cayetano Heredia University, which focuses on science and medicine. The Pontifical Catholic University of Peru is first non-profit private institution of higher learning. And National University of Engineering whose alumni occupying today positions of leadership in the fields of industry and public service. The government is very much aware of the fact that a high standard of education is integral to the marketability of its human capital. I think we have to improve the level of education, especially looking forward to what we expect the economy to be in the next 10 years. The need for human capital, for highly skilled human capital, is growing dramatically. And we need to strengthen our educational system. Coming up next, a journey you will never forget. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. Spectacular hotels in spectacular locations. The Casa Andina Private Collection. Our six Casa Andina private collection hotels are in Peru's most beautiful locations, created with an eye to conveying the essence of the region. In all private collection hotels, guests are treated to the finest in creative gourmet gastronomy, stunning views and privileged surroundings, including architecture that combines the best of traditional and modern Peru, with the services and facilities of larger hotels, but the personality and character of the more intimate boutique hotels Casa Andina Private Collection is the choice of travelers seeking an exclusive but definitively Peruvian experience. Hotels inspired by a sense of space. The Casa Andina Private Collection. Get to know Peru in the most accommodating and cost-effective way. Peruvian Airlines. 
we fly to Peru's most beautiful locations, including three daily flights to Cusco. Recognized as the best Peruvian carrier, we deliver with warmth and pride in a globalized world. Get amazing fares now at www.peruvianairlines.pe. Peruvian Airlines. Discover Peru. Live the legend. Sixt Rent-A-Car, one of Europe's leading car hire companies, is now in Peru. Sixt is your best partner for car hire. Visit www.sixt.com.pe and benefit from special online rates, great cars, and first-class service for business or pleasure in Peru. Sixt, the spirit of mobility. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. Machu Picchu, a place so stunning you have to see it to believe it. It is South America's most popular tourist attraction. But there is more to Peru than Machu Picchu. Luminous archaeological sites lush Amazon rainforests, floating islands and highland lakes, and vivid indigenous cultures. Peru has it all. All inspiring and dramatic. A journey to Peru is a journey you will never forget. Heir to ancient cultures and a rich colonial tradition, Peru is a magical spot which involves one of the richest biodiversities on Earth. It is truly a privileged destination. I've been all around the world, and there are excellent places, beautiful countries, but I feel Peru is special. Peru is special because of, of the type of country that we have, a, the mixture of cultures that we have. We have people from Asia, from Europe, native people, all together, and that's make a very interesting uh, country. Plus, uh, I will say because we have three different uh, areas, the coast, the Andes, and the jungle, uh, we have everything in, in this country. So this is a, a place to, to love. Tourism is the most rapidly growing industry in Peru growing annually at a rate of 25%, which is faster than any other country in South America. The American market is by far the largest tourist demographic into Peru. The connectivity with uh, all the major cities in the States is excellent, from Lima to Miami, New York, Atlanta, LA, uh, that helps a lot. And because of the promotion that the government is doing in the States. Peru has perfected tourism as an industry, and Americans will find that a vacation here is comfortable as it is memorable. Peru is truly a destination for the world. Today's Peru is experiencing and enjoying an era of stability, prosperity, and hope. Peru welcomes everyone with arms wide open. Bienvenido a Peru.